Hi, today we're going to talk about the concept of pricing euro dollar futures, euro dollar futures. Now, in this futures instrument, the underlying instrument is actually the interest rate to borrow one million US dollar for three months or approximately 90 days. Now, suppose we have this euro dollar futures that uh, is going to expire in 40, 45 days' time. Now, since the underlying instrument is a borrowing of US dollar for 90 days, so now the whole tenor of this whole timeline here basically is 45 days plus the 90 days that start from here. Now, so altogether, there is 135 days. Now, why is it that 90 days the euro dollar futures start from here? It's because is that the futures instrument actually come to being only when the future expire. So when future expire, then it be being exercised into underlying instrument, which is a borrowing of three month uh, US dollar of one million dollar, right? So now, if uh, that is a case, now that means in this case, your dollar futures basically is actually the borrowing of US dollar for this period of time. Now, according to the using the notation for the textbook, here for the five days we denote it as D1, and the 90 days we denote it as D2, and 135 days is actually uh, denoted as the D in the textbook. Assuming that for these 45 days, the interest rate okay, is equal to uh, 1.25% annualized and for the 135 day the interest rate denoted by big R is equal to 1.75% annualized so in this case is that now how to calculate this euro dollar future first we have to calculate the interest rate within this period of time basically uh, is as denoted as R2 in the textbook now what is R2? R2 is basically a 90 day interest rate starting in 45 days time basically it's a 90 day forward rate starting in 45 days time so how the whole equation works is basically this way assuming we have one dollar and with one dollar start from here and we invest for 45 days at the earning interest rate 1.25% 1, 1, 1. and after 45 days we take out this one dollar and reinvest for another 90 days and we will get how much money at the end here Technically, this amount of money is should be equivalent to if we go to invest one dollar starting from now, and invest for the whole of one thirty one hundred thirty five days, uh, using a rate of one point seven five percent. So how it work here is going to be this way. Now, so it start off with one dollar. Okay, assume that now one dollar we're going to invest for this period of time. So basically, it's equal to one plus. Okay. 0 0.0125 time 45 days divided by 360 now after we have this the money here we invest for another further 90 days basically means that we have to time okay 1 plus r2 time 90 over 360 now technically this whole this sum of money that we derive from here it should be equal to one dollar starting here and invest for 135 days so it means equal to one time one plus 0 0.0175 time 135 over 360 so technically it should be similar all right so now we set up this equation all right so solving for r2 we get 0 0.02 or 2% now pricing of future instrument this yield of futures is equal to f equal to 100 minus r2 and since in this case r2 is 2% so it's 100 minus 98 sorry sorry it's equal to 100 minus 2 equal to 98 so this is the price of this your dollar futures. Thank you.